Are you holding on to cards that are a literal ticking time bomb? Well, maybe it's time to trade them in for the bag. Welcome back, Duelists, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the top 10 cards to be getting rid of before 2024. And as we know, it is reprint season, and with a lot of cards at inflated values, we're going to be going over the top 10 you should be on the lookout in case you have them to get rid of before they get that reprint. So, first card on today's list is none other than Substitute. Now, Substitute has only one printing from Light of Destruction as a rare. And as that rare, it might be one of the most expensive rares, if not the most expensive I've ever seen. Now, Near Mint Substitutes are selling for about $40. Yeah, $40 like minimum, okay? So we see them like $38, $39, $50. $50. Man, that's quite the jump. So, that is for a rare substitute. And guys, as we saw with Kaius coming out as a super or a reprint of pulling the rug, substitute is definitely due for a reprint. Whether it's out of an OTS pack or out of a reprint pack, substitute could definitely be seeing a reprint even as a holographic. And when that happens, the moment that announcement happens, these prices are going to just tank. It's going to be straight Kirby Brick gone, okay? Off the map, gone. So that is what's going to happen to these prices once that reprint happens. And I do not see this card going much higher than $50. People are going to not be willing to do that. And yes, this is basically because of Edison format. But we know Konami has been reprinting Edison cards and will be doing so in the, into the future given how popular it has been. So if you have Substitute, get rid of them now. Next up on today's list is number 90 Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. And this is from Battle of Legends Relentless Revenge, and ironically, has already been announced for a reprint. So that is why when we're checking the prices of this card and seeing that we have actually had a couple just sold for 62, 62, 62 dollars, literally 62s across the board, okay? So it's actually kind of insane given we have a reprint, it's still selling for 60 dollars here. What's going on? Are people not aware of that? So if you have this card, People are buying it. Definitely get rid of it before the price tanks. Next up on the list is a fan favorite, and that is Access Code Talker. And now, the one we'll be discussing today is the Secret Rare versions, and the first one is the Crystal Revenge version. So for the Crystal Revenge Secret, which is the reprint, we're looking at about $45 to pick one up. Okay, that's kind of insane. And then when we go over to the original one, we're seeing the originals actually sit at about $60 for the OG secret from Eternity Code. So again, if you're holding on to especially the Crystal Revenge version of Access Code Talker, that might be something to get rid of. Now we do have the Gold Series, okay? It's a much more financially cheaper than the Secret Rare versions, but most importantly, Crystal Revenge version, guys, get rid of those. Going back to the Edison format, number four on today's list is Kaius the Shadow Monitor, and specifically from the structure deck, the Dark Emperor, which is actually the debut structure deck for Kaius himself, so this is the OG printing. Now, near mint burst heads of this printing are actually sitting at about $16, which, well, that's more than I paid for my deck. But honestly, that is really good given that this is a structure deck ultra. So, $16 for a near mint first dead Kaius from the structure deck, really nice. And honestly, I think that is kind of a nice time to get rid of them. We are seeing it is very popular in Edison. The ultis are insane. That's its own conversation I'm not even going to go into right now. But given that this is a structure deck card that is already kind of fought off with some super rare OTS versions, some other commons, some other rares, but if this card ever receives like a secret rare printing, which again in some of these reprint sets would not surprise me if it happens, then it would definitely be seeing a price drop for the ultra rare from the structure deck. So now might actually be the time to be getting rid of the original Kaius because in the future you'll probably be able to pick them up for much cheaper. Now number five and number six are kind of the elephants in the room when we talk about overly inflated cards. And number five is none other than Wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. And this card, when it came out, was like $60, like under $70. So when players were complaining about picking up a playset for $180, it was pretty funny. And now 
that's hilarious, okay? So these are sitting at literally like $100 a piece. We are in the triple digits, and that is definitely to be expected since this card is played at three in a majority of decks, especially the really high topping ones, okay? So Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils, definitely a meta call. And this kind of, I want to say before getting into like why you should sell it, I'm going to say when you get into meta cards like Wanted or our following card, these are cards that as a competitive player, you have to decide, do you want to get maximum value off your cards? Or is it just better to hold on to your cards, lose a little bit of value, but make up for it in tournaments, make up for it in placing prizes. Maybe you get invites to other tournaments, like higher end tournaments. Like if that is where you're out and that is your obligation, that is the kind of a reason to be holding on to these super expensive cards that just came out. Now, why would you want to get rid of a card so new? Well, we've actually seen that Konami has been reprinting high-end secrets, the most popular secrets of their most recent sets, as ultimates in the OTS packs, as kind of a little bit of extra reasoning to go to their local tournaments, okay? So, Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Yes, it is a meta card. Yes, you play three. But this might be a prime choice for Konami to put as an ulti into an OTS pack. Now, this wouldn't drop the price of this card drastically if they did that. If anything, they would just have a really expensive ulti, but it would trim a little bit off the top here, but it, it would definitely still be sitting at quite the money card. And then following suit with Wanted is number six, and that is SP Little Knight. And again, this has been a drain on people's wallets ever since its release, okay? It even came out around $80 and has shot right up. So right now, it is sitting at an average of about $1 basically $110, okay, is what I'm looking at here. So if you want to shell out 110 on one of these, that's cool, that's your obligation. But if I had this card, this is another card, again, is it going to be reprinted as like an ultra and a reprint set? Absolutely not. But this is a prime card for an OTS Ultimate Rare printing. So if you have extra SP Little Knights, maybe you pull them for packs, maybe you got them relatively cheap, and maybe you're not running them in your decks, maybe you're a budget player, okay? This is one of those cards you would definitely want to get rid of for the triple digits while you got the chance, because if it gets an OT print, definitely going to trim down a little off the secret. And then once things occur, whether that be printings of this card or hits on the list, then at least you'll know that you got maximum value for one of the most expensive cards in your collection. Now, this next card is definitely not shy to price hikes, and that is Curry Kara Div Incarnate. And now I'd like to say Div Incarnate has already seen a massive price decrease and it is definitely depressing i definitely remember seeing this at eight nine dollars they spiked all the way up to 60 and now we're back down to what looks like 25 dollars a piece and that is definitely depressing for this card okay and i hate telling people that hey your card dropped and do like, ha it dropped half its value get rid of it now I, I don't like doing that. And that's why I'm starting to do cards to get rid of because it's important for people not only to pick up cards while they're cheap like I do in the other market watches, but when to get rid of them at like their maximum value, okay? So this would be something I'm going to do a lot more regularly. So definitely look out for that. But this card has not received an actual reprint besides an ultimate rare from an OTS pack, which by the way is like a couple dollars higher than this. So once a reprint happens, which is going to happen, this card is going to continue to tank. I'm very sorry if you picked them up for more. That's a, I, I'm sorry. If you picked them up for cheaper, again, like I said, this card started at eight, nine dollars, okay? Maybe you pulled them, maybe you got them cheap. I definitely do suggest getting rid of them where you, at least you can make some value out of them at all, okay? Because again, it hasn't been reprinted. It's going to be reprinted. And once it gets reprinted, this secret is going to continue to tank. Next up on today's list, and again, following suit kind of with the Curry card, is Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. Okay, this card started at about 30s. I remember picking up mine at 30s. And then when they shot up to about 70 to $80, I was like, yo, it's time. Okay, but the reason it was so expensive is this was the only printing outside of the prize versions of this card, okay? And they were actually playable in decks in the meta. So it was almost a given that the Chaos Emperor was going to hike in price, okay? Now, we've actually seen A, it's not played as much in the decks because of the format, but B, it is already guaranteed 
for a reprint and again the battle of legends reprint set kind of like number 90 so if you are still holding on to your chaos river dragons even though they've already gone down i unfortunately do think they're going to go down even more once a new version comes out but again kind of like the kurakara it's already gone down it's very disappointing if you haven't got rid of it already but might as well make some value while value is there to be made now, number nine on today's list is going back again to the Edison format, and that is Quick Draw Synchro Super Rare from the Turbo Pack. And this is a personal one. I actually have three of these. I have been looking into the Edison format myself to play around, have some fun. I don't want to get rid of my Quick Draws, man. I don't want to do it. But they're like $63. Do we remember what happened to Skill Drain? Like, do we do do we remember that? Like, do do we remember how far it fell, especially the Turbo Ultra? Ooh, yeah, we, we do. We really do. So a super from a turbo pack being $63, I might have to make that trade. I might have to replace him with the ultras from the uh you know the collections. It's because guaranteed once this thing A will receive another reprint as a hollow version, but it is due for something either ultimate or collector rare. And I could definitely see Konami fitting some of the stuff, even cards, in the Edison format into some reprint sets, getting them as collector rares and out to the public. So $63 for a super rare turbo pack quick draw. Honestly, that looks like a very good deal. They were a little higher, I will say that. I think they were up to 70 and some change, but the room for them to fall versus the room for them to gain is definitely much greater. And then last up on today's list, before we go to the notable mentions, is none other than Triple Tactics Thrust. Now, this has been quite a prime meta call ever since its release into the OCG as well as the TCG, but Triple Tactics Thrust did receive that sweet, sweet OTS printing ultimate rare print, and ever since then, we did see the secrets go down slightly in value, but a lot of players are kind of theorizing that once the new year starts, we might see Thrust get put into a set, especially just as a selling point. And when that happens, we're gonna be seeing Triple Tactics Thrust, the secret rares, go down in value. Right now, they're sitting at about $71, and that is nice, very good value. I mean, they're upwards of 90s before the OTS printing, but this is definitely a price to be debating whether you're going to hold on to them or get rid of them before they go down in value. Because when we go over to the ultimate rare here, we're actually seeing the ultis sit about $95, a little bit over. So just a little bit more money into the tank, you get yourself ultis. And I don't think the ultis will see much of a price hit right away, especially given that I mean, this is kind of a chase card still. We saw what happened to Droplet. So given that the ultimate rare will probably maintain a little bit more value when a reprint happens, if you are holding on to those secret rare thrusts, now might be the time to get rid of them for maximum value. And as always, we gotta have our notable mentions. And our notable mention today is none other than Trident Dragon. And we've actually just seen new support printed for Trident Dragon, kind of giving him his own archetype, but that has actually caused this card and all the versions to see an increase in price. And now let's start off with the Ultimate Rare First Edition. We were seeing these were selling for quite a variety of prices. Near at first for 40, we've seen them sell for upwards of like literally $85. We've seen Light Play First for hundreds. I mean, they're literally like all over the place between 40, 50, $100. I mean, honestly, it's like anything goes. It's like people are calling out numbers and people are like, I'll take that, I'll take that. So what players are wanting for it right now though, they're like $130 asking price for a Near Mint First. Uh, obviously, you're probably not gonna sell that high, but if you have a Near Mint First Edition Trident Dragon, maybe you could get like a bill for it from what I've seen in the recent sales. So if that's your asking price, maybe that's what you should ask for. And then kind of following suit with the Ultimate Rare, we're gonna go into the Ultra Rare, which is sitting at about $24 for that Near Mint First Edition. And then if you recall, we do have a nice crispy Secret Rare version that looks real clean. And that is $25 from the Legendary Collection 5D Secret Rare. But guys, that is the top 10 cards to be getting rid of before we go into 2024. And if there's anything I missed, maybe there's a card you think that is just super inflated right now that you need to be getting rid of, 
comment that down below. I definitely like reading the comments, and it might even help a player get maximum value out of their card before it tanks. And as always, if you got anything from the video, do hit that subscribe button. We're going to have more content flashing up, so check out the videos. And as always, guys, stay safe, have a good night, and suck it, nerds.